In this video, we'll guide you through the process of setting up the host name and IP address of your Crestron AV3 using USB and Toolbox. This step is crucial for establishing communication between your AV3 and other devices on the network. Yeah. AV Network Guy here. Connect your computer to the AV3 yeah. using a USB cable. Open Toolbox on your computer. In Toolbox, click on the Binoculars button, which is a shortcut for the Device Discovery tool, and wait for the 8-second Device Discovery to complete, or select Discover Devices. Double-click on the Discovered AV3 processor in the device discovery section of the window on the left. Since the firmware is outdated, it did not prompt me to log in or create a new user account. Keep that in mind. Next, click on the Ethernet settings button and ensure you're in the LAN tab. At the top of the Ethernet tab, you'll see the host name. In the host name text box, you can edit and update the name. To set up a static IP for the LAN port, select the Use Static IP Address option and enter the IP address. subnet mask and default gateway. Since you're in the Ethernet settings, you might as well disable IGMP proxy, it out, it out, it out. then click apply. This will reboot the AV3 processor. The reboot process took 2 minutes and 10 seconds to complete amid the outdated firmware and lack of loaded programs. Click OK to exit this window and wait for the device to refresh. Now, you can see the host name we assigned earlier, along with the IP address and subnet mask. If your processor is not in the correct time zone, click on the clock button and configure your time zone and device time. That's it! We've successfully configured the IP address of this Crestron AV3 using USB and Toolbox. Remember, keep your AV3 or AV4 firmware up to date and configure your device time and time zone to ensure optimal performance and security. Hey, if you found value in this video, like, comment, subscribe.